Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Brightful Minute. I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the United States of America. And in this episode, now the Venetians think they're actually doing something clever by intercepting us on the open field. It kind of makes sense, but they're only forestalling um, an inevitable doom. So let's get going. We need to bear in mind that the army we're actually fighting is only too strong and that the rest of their force should be coming in on our left. So we need to make sure we deploy appropriately uh, so we don't get massively caught out. But it shouldn't be a problem. We have lots of artillery. We should be able to absolutely smash the enemy. And ultimately, if we're clever about this, depending on where they come in, we might actually be able to um, surround the deployment zone. Yeah, let's find out. So let's, let's hedge our bets. If they aren't here, we'll redeploy. Actually, it seems like not a bad split. Put my line of Jigard into the mix over here. There we go. Something like that. Skirmishers and heavies can just cover the other direction. Um, which I haven't really left much of a, much space for artillery. Oop, one second. Sorry, I had to sneeze again. Right. Again, I've just woken up. <laughs> Unlimber my howitzers. Let's get my artillery... Yeah, this train is really bad. It's going to be round shot only. I might keep my... I might keep my heavy horse artillery. Heavy horse gun artillery. And limbered. Or limbered up, rather. Ah. They are actually... So that's where they're coming in from, is it? Oh, absolute wrong button press. That's, that's the second time I've done that recently. Okay, let's... Commit my... Cavalry out on the flank. Artillery. Tank those gunners. The horse artillery just try get up to there, I guess. To make sure my maybe you guys are causing issues. Drop into squares, heavy cavalry, don't give a damn. You guys, okay. There we go, quick climb. Just keep hitting them with quick climb. One unit fired short against the Hussars, hit 138th Regiment, but we seem to be doing okay. There we go, they got them out of position. Barrel my cavalry on into the mercenaries. So then we can do this. Okay, knock out the mercenaries. Run them down. These guys need kind of stay in square to deal with the cavalry threats ahead of us, but... Okay, let's actually... Ooh, 
crucial forward. Cavalry's coming in again. And the quick life's doing, doing a real number on the enemy. And number the heavy horse guard artillery. There we go. Got rid of their um, Got rid of their the uh, cavalry, the uh, mercenaries that could have been behind our lines. Excellent, you guys all get out of line. Get out of square, sorry. Not line. This line advance. He must have come back. Nope. Okay, there we go. Get into line. Focus my. Let's focus all my artillery onto these guys because they're threatening this flank, which is potentially the weakest. But not after all that quick climb, it won't be. Push forward. There we go. So many artillery rounds. Marines are opening fire into the block. Don't need to worry about chasing them down. Targeting, they'll be gone soon. Well, these marines just oh, there you go. Great ears are wavering. Yeah, you better run. And all of my guns fire on the one that lost artillery unit. Although we are going to scoot forward and deal with them in the end. So many men routing. Hey, those, um. Ah, there we go. That's the sort of thing you've got to kind of expect. We'll have the bus shotgunners. Bit of a messy battle. They're not even forming up. <laughs> no, it's one last gunner. They're making a break for it. Very nice. Yeah, that was a bit of a misstep from Venice there. But then again, they didn't really have a choice. So they've got a thousand men remaining. They don't actually have anybody in there garrisoning their city anymore. So I'm going to sit outside, let them run back in, garrison it, and then lay siege to it. So I'm not that bothered about making sure I get them. These guys can get out of their city. Good. Because you're replenishing. Okay, you need to, we need to start, um, start attacking. So the minor nations, Knights of St. John are an ally of the Italian states. Genoa is allied with, ooh, Prussia. OK, 
Okay, I think bring bring these firsts across. Join up with these second with these um seconds. Actually, they are, still might not be enough, but this will be enough. Justin Crompton declare war on um, Knights of St. John. Will the Italians join them? No, they will not. Great. Let's bring you through the gap. Let's get you guys... You, well, you think you're going to march through the city, but I'm not going to let you do that. You, you, you shouldn't be able to march through the dark. Gathering supplies. Aye, aye, sir. Excellent. Let's do. Okay, then we've also got this navy here, and I think, to be honest, we do... Oh, Naples is, is currently unprotected. That's... We're not unprotected. They've got nobody in their um, in um, Taranto. So if we declare war on them, we can just march straight in. So we're definitely going to do it. And let's see if that brings in Prussia. Oh no, sorry, Prussia's our ally. Uh, see if that brings in Genoa and the Italian states. Just brings in the Italian states, but Genoa's going to get it as well. Because they're in the way. <laughs> yeah, this fleet should be able to sail around. Napoli fleet, get into the port and they have their full movement left yes sir, we are going to attack Naples because then that incredibly dangerous threat from the Napoli fleet can be entirely circumvented and then at least with this, with these campaigns in Italy we should uh, do away with three more nations at the end turn phase and then soon it will be unavoidable we will have to declare war on Russia. Okay. A lot of artillery. Okay, how it says we should point a little bit back. Okay, we're going to focus on then on attacking one, uh, potentially two sets of breaches, but we'll definitely do this a bit conventionally. Right, you meant knock a hole in that wall. Uh, knock out this gun team because we need to knock out some of these gunners. A bit far forward, they can hit our teams. Come on, my lads, you need to reload as fast as you can. Trouble is, how it's, their mortars fire faster than ours than our gunners do. Enough to stop them from being able to serve their guns. Sadly, though, they still have their crew. Their crew serve weapons are still going. Actually, no, that might be. Oh no, that's somebody else they're aiming at. Some of our guns are. are um, some of our guns are lag. Have lagged out though. Okay, right. So our 12 pounders have made a breach. Arr! These men aim at this section. I mean, you just very much need to thin out, get rid of the last of these. This last handful of crew. 
So I could do a lot worse than just say, right, just attack them. Because they are within range. It won't make the... We've got two bugged guns. These inner ones just aren't shooting. Frame short. That is more reliable. Kill another crewman. Oh, well, we've lost, and so now we've lost. This gun is bugged. So now it's only three howitzers shooting. Okay, good. So now they're suffering from bugs as well. Okay, let's start... Knocking some holes in their offensive line. They aren't able to defend every position at once. unit. One more volley and I'll take care of them. So I might try and limber these guys up and then unlimber them. See if that will... No, they are just bugged. Look at that. I'm not even spinning the guns around. Interesting. Yep. Yeah, they are entirely bugged now. Excellent. <laughs> Down to one Howard's team. Okay. Push forward at all speed. We need to particularly emphasize uh, flanking around and attacking gatehouses. hit. Uh, both try and hit. Even of militia now. Gunners. Okay. Try open up a few more ways in. These two units push one flank. These two units push this flank. See if I can, let's see if I can barrel a, a unit of cuirassier just in through the gate, in which case I need my regiment of horse to come this way. Let's see if I let's see if I can just barrel in and just start attacking the mortars. Answer is yes. Just keep going, just keep going. See, because that happens. <laughs> They'll come back, but. There we go. 
that was slowing him down. You can attack the um, armed citizens when you know they've left. It would take, the long, take them a long time to attack my cuirassier. Dealt with you push forward artillery slips to round shot attack. You don't attack anything. You push forward, you hold. You push forward, hold. My our cavalry can try and barrel through to attack the other mortar units. No, don't get distracted. units one at a time. Yeah, my cavalry tried to barrel through, but they haven't got the mass dirt. Provincial scouts get up here. Excellent, we've taken this gate. Attack this mortar unit. They've got an armed citizenry unit back here to try and defend it. It's not going to help them. We've already massively cut down on the um, artillery fire that we were getting. Even though this unit's not firing, just attack them and kill them. Are you men. Get ready, just pour fire into the enemy here. Native musket and auxiliary get up onto the wall there. So you better attack that mortar unit. One of the last ones firing. I think this one might have their general in it. I push my regiment of force through again because their numbers seem to be smaller than they were. Oh, the cavalry, the infantry might break my regiment of force trying to push through. Okay, try again. There we go, volleys coming in, annihilating the citizenry. Attack the general's bodyguard, try to kill the general. Format. Get my other cavalry is through. Finally, good. Attack the centre. They're still firing. Blew on a horse's heads off. You're going to run around through the entrance, are you? Through the gate. Even though my Grilla Mercenaries are not ideally suited for melee combat, they're still going to come. Everybody needs to take a part and control it in control if attacking the gatehouse. Winning decisively. Kill everyone. Okay, you men just pour fire into the into this into here if they're gonna try and stand outside, shoot at them, see if we can get them to break. Yep, this is how the battle's going to be won, though. 
for the capture of the center from a cavalry rush because they left they left the uh, city exposed. Can't kill the armed citizenry. Not the part of the city now. Let's see. Okay. The arm sits in the okay, One of you needs to kill that general, for sure. That's smug. Smug fool. There he goes. Not so smug anymore, are you? Did reset the counter, although we're probably at the point where it's going to be a case of... Um, The armies are all gonna, these units are all going to eventually break in one go. I get my mercenaries in. You know, provincial scouts try and attack the line infantry. Again, I need a unit that's not very good at melee combat, but just to try and pin them and keep them surrounded. Redmond of Port, stay here. Here's the air. Okay, you. That citizenry, these units get involved, will get into the centre. Excellent. A couple, couple of units have broken. We'll charge into the 5th Regiment of Line. You're being attacked in the flank. What do you think about that? <laughs> oh, they've only got little knives. They're going to shank you. Yeah, they're falling fast. Gate okay, here's taken. There we go. Get them, provincial scouts. Very nice indeed. But that is Naples destroyed and all of their ships are gone excellent okay so this army is going to have to stay here for a while to get them converted if we get rid of the modern university that will definitely help create the commercial basin like galley Naples is a really rich region so glad we've got that let's get rid of the dry dock upgrade the steam engine factory the roads are all maxed out. Great going. 155 gold a turn. Oof. Get rid of the university. That will go a long way towards helping, but it will not fix things. So they are still going to rebel. Don't think it's gonna be much use for you as is. Could probably deal with Order 66 in Madrid as well. Declare war on Genoa. Now let's see if this kicks things off. We were already at war with Venice and the Italian states anyway. It was more about seeing if Prussia got involved. So you put Genoa under siege again. Yeah, you're going to wait because I don't want to give them. I want this army to help occupy some of these garrison slots. Uh, Innsbruck, get a church school. Good. Okay, Naples and Sicily is gone. You can. Okay. You're going to head towards uh, Rome. Raid a couple of things that they'll probably get upset about. Then get ready to attack Rome next turn. 
because they, they won't be able to work around us to get into Milan. So that should be okay. But yeah, then we'll this bit, this area will be gobbled up. Um, down here. I mean, yeah, we're just gonna take. Them. Just take Zahedin as it is. Ready for battle. Destroy the government building. Let's replenish the troops. Let's demolish the large ashram. Upgrade this happiness building to a pleasure garden. Let everybody soldier on. Okay, we've dealt with all of a lot of this. Although well, you're waiting for mercenaries, as are a couple of you guys. Uh, you could potentially divert north to get some Gurkhas. We really, really want to max out on the Gurkhas. Uh, upgrade the roads in Zedan, although it doesn't make much of a difference because the only road they actually have in the territory is that that goes to the border towards Esfahan. So if I go, hey Russia, regions, demand region, Persia, I'll offer you 30 grand. I thought they were going to take it for a minute. Once again, we do have this region back here with Russia. We need to make sure that we are... This is going to be a, a defensive army. We're not going to be recruiting armies to push out from here. This is going to be an army that's going to exist just to um, try and draw Russian troops away from the front line. Okay. So, I think one of the other things we can set up is this capture of Madrid. So, we're not going to call our allies in. This is very much a betrayer moment. We've broken our alliance with Spain. So, lots of their territory. They're probably going to sail and attack us somewhere um, in the Americas, but all of our ports are covered, so... They shouldn't be able to immediately conquer anything important. Yes. Man, sir. Forward, orders. Okay, your recruitment's ongoing. Okay, yeah, this army will be needed to go and conquer Cuba and Trinidad and Tobago. Make ready. Once we begin the war with the Ottomans, we can go and attack Santa Fe, but apart from, I was going to say, apart from that, actually, what we can probably start to do, oh, we're really starting to make some money, you have your first, sec one second, two, four, third rate ship of the line, <laughs> slowly start building more fleets. Okay, something like that. We got we've got a bit of time before we end up having the ultimate war against the Prussians. Get a couple of upgrades here. Okay, Christopher Thompson. Your artillery is good. How it is a good. You need. Ooh, General Field Marshal of the Army. Field Marshal of Europe. Wait. Do we... No, it's... Ah, oh, sorry. It's my other... Venice campaign. We've got some of those. Okay, let's get... One scare machine that you can afford to get... It's going to be regulars, that's a bit different. Then here at Europe... Oh wait, where can we recruit it then? Where can we recruit the... The... the um, the 
field marshal. Four turns. Okay, so it's a while away. Vienna? No. Very curious. Well, either way, Christopher Thompson, you're going to recruit. Ah, minus one. So it's somewhere that's... Well, either way, let's set them to both recruit. We want to know where the hell they are. It's Naples. You can recruit them in Naples. Is it because it's their royal palace, I suppose? Which you can't build anywhere else. Oh, no, no, royal palace. Can't recruit them there. Oh, well, let's still recruit them, because next turn we'll be... All of these threats will be bottled up, so we're going to do what we want. Okay, now let's do... Anything more? So I said I, was, I said I was done recruiting. Um, that is not entirely true. More armies. Especially because you've got rocket troops. They are really good fun. Okay. Demi cannons. 24 pounder. Go. Let's get a unit of... Yes. Rifleman scouts. Take four turns to get to us. I don't know where you're recruiting from, then. Hmm. Either way, let's hit end turn. Again, my agents are on the way. See, I wouldn't be surprised if Spain attacks us somewhere in the Americas, but like I said, because of all our ports are occupied, there isn't really anywhere for them to go. If they land any troops somewhere... Uh, okay, yeah, you run away. <laughs> They're probably... I mean, it's a really... It's not a bad fleet, but it is only a fragment of a fleet. Ah, oh, the hell, I'm going to water resolve this. Don't need to fight that. Your end is near, Genoa. And we win anyway. Out. Yeah, you better run. After all that. Yeah, Prussia. We have a couple of um, very significant engagements against Prussia. Uh... Russia's attacking Venice. No. <laughs> Russia lost. <laughs> Lights of St. John. Uh, unhappy, unsurprisingly. Um, <laughs> you do share quite a long border. You share, look, share quite a long border. That's not what I mean. What I mean is they've got an army right outside the gate. So, yeah, naturally they're unhappy. Uh, yes, you want to try and... Yeah, you want to sell... Yeah, let's do it. Let's do this, Italy. They're coming in two waves, two half stacks, so we'll just form a part defensive line and annihilate them. I'm not even... Not even going to be interested in trying to kill units because we want damaged fragments to stay in the city, although the garrison um, will be pushed back as a result of the battle. really want to be up on this edge. Pretty reasonable infantry line there to secure that bluff. We're going to drag a gun up there, or a pair of guns. A pair of guns are going to be dragged up here. Something like this. Uh, 
I would say it's just pop off shots and the win. Cavalry, wait your turn. I don't want to um, sit behind the walls. So you have to be there, really. Defensive line and the left. Get my light dragoons out here to back up my light cavalry, my light infantry rather. They're attacking us with shrapnel shot. Republican Guard, get out. Actually, you guys, yeah. you know, you guys are in position. Republican Guard, get out here on the flank. Okay, gunners. There you go. They got one of my gun teams. They got the other gun. Swines. Close up the line. Oh, dead on. Oh, no, completely the opposite. Well, my foot artillery is going to be in position to provide yet more shots. General. Engineers, place your stakes. Wavering. Go on, African infantry guards, give them a volley. Shattered. Kill another enemy general. So we're back here. Howitzers at the rear, they're lobbing quick climb at us. No. Tree, make way. Wait for time to strike and I'll send my cavalry up there to sweep them clear. How it says we can drop in quick climb on their infantry. their own guys in the back, I think. Don't really want Colonial Light Cavalry over here. Looks like this. Yep, yeah, just done it again. Just done it again. Defensive position doesn't really work. Push forward. Okay, they're shattered. Engage the remnants of these horse grenadier guards. Try to shatter them, and then push forward. Go. 
dragoons go after the enemy cavalry. Still engaging my howitzers, but I'm not going to help them really. Okay, where's my general? Bring up, they're going to be unless we get onto them really quick, they're going to escape. Focus on that howitzer unit because they're limbered up. Don't worry about shooting them, just kill them. Okay, the artillery got them. Make sure the quick climbers are engaging some of these other units because my cavalry can just. Run, General, run through the lines. No, nope, keep killing them. Because you'll never feel though with these Italian infantry units. Oh, they're enemy dragoons, they're dismounted, I see. Heavily damaged units, we don't necessarily want to kill them. Okay, so you go. Okay, now go after that unit. There's 91 of them. You shouldn't kill them all. There are only seven men left there. Oops, my artillery's open. Ah, what the hell, let's just kill him. Need you to make war against us. There we go. Although a few of these guys are still going to escape. They are not, however. Got them. There we go. And then General. He's going to become a sniper now. There's loads of cavalry. <laughs> Three men left. There he is. He's over there. He's running away. Almost right into the corner. Unless you stop and fight. Yes, you did. Yeah. Gotcha. That was quite a good fight. So we lost a gun team, which we have to retrain. So what does Russia do? I think this is part of the problem. Because we are allies it's really hard for the ai to um come to terms with are oh, they going after my heavies as well yeah you can do Kablamo. Oh. um yeah because we're both allies it's really hard for them to oh god so good yeah because we're allies it's really hard for them to break an alliance i think well it seems to be it seems to be really hard for once you're allied with somebody for them to give you a break. Uh, no, I'm not going to help you, Prussia. I want you to get chewed up a bit. Ah, yeah, this is the kind of thing that you you would get with the um, the Italian nations, is they do just go for your trade zones. But I don't really care. Got a reasonable amount of cover. Reverse course. Blub, blub, blub. Yes, he's not going to go for those two because they're nicely covered <laughs> with, a, with a, a really good battle fleet. 
There you go. That's exactly what I wanted to see happen. They've all clustered together on top of, well, in, inside the city. So then this army can just go lay siege to them quite nicely. Okay. I'm not sure why you stopped. Traits gained. A new nation arises. Georgia. Good. Rebels. Heroic death. Blue in Walpole. Okay, Sebastian Hooker. The Venetians are up here. Well, they were. Oh, they're still in the corner. Our nation rules the sea. Ship shape and Bristol fast, there we go, it's the end of your game. Go claim a trade zone. Right. I still didn't care. No, I want them. I want them all. So, down here in Brazil. Go get them. Doomstacks chasing people around the sea. Okay, so in Brazil we need two trade fleet, three trade fleets, and a battle and a replacement battle fleet, really. So you now you're not a battle, you're not a trade fleet. So that's three trade fleets plus. Our replacement battle fleet. I mean, ultimately, this, this endeavor is probably a lot more expensive than the value you get from actually <laughs> from the actual goods themselves. But damn it, it's the principle of the thing. Something like that. Right, then let's take. The fourth rate audacious out here, and then here in New York, really, we need to just uh, spam out fourth rates. Make ready. And let's create some more steamships. There we go. Recruit some frigates. Fleet destroyed, yes. Heroic death, yes. Construction. Afghanistan's probably a good Catholic region. A good Protestant region, rather. Okay, upgrade all these things in Lviv. Good, good, good. I've got lots of lots of religious education Although the things are going down they are running out of things to be upset about okay so murphy cecil you need to replenish and we require a reinforcing unit of artillery 12 pounders will do because they are faster to get here i'm um, just maintaining siege for now i'm just happy to keep everything bottled up um recruitment report Good, so now that's... There you go, you may have your fun units ready to go. At the ready. You may have your variation, you can go. Okay, this army... So have you got your Gurkhas? You do. On you go. This army at Kabul does not have their Gurkhas. 
So you can have that set. You don't even have your Gurkhas. You do, but you can't leave. Yes, you can leave. Good, Evan J. On you go. Post captain, trait, trait. Okay, lots of, lots of good stuff from our naval engagements. Okay, we'll send that fifth ray back to America to be folded into a trade ship, trade fleet. Okay. So a lot of sieges we can do this turn. Actually, the ones with damaged armies aren't, aren't going to... Um, they're going to sit here and reinforce. Um, so, let's take Madrid. Let's get that squared away um but looking at the timer i believe it's time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the destruction of spain cheers everyone <laughs>